hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here, and still the voice of hardcore boxing. Porky's pound for pound. Six of the best. These six cause us more aggravation for me, especially if I'm in pubs or clubs or cafes or in people's houses. Everybody likes to talk about who is the best fighter in world boxing today? Who is the pound for pound guy? Now, this is how I look at it. Pound for pound is subjective, it's very subjective. So, you can't just say so and so and so and so is the pound for pound star. What's this here? Sleep, it's an hailstone. I've got six guys here, pound for pound, right now. But they might not be your six, but in that order. Now, whatever order I put these in, I'm going to have arguments of so and so and so and so and so and so. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you six guys, pound for pound. Normally, I always say, they're my six and I put them in an order but I'm not going to do that because each one of them is at the top of the game right so here they go Errol Spence top of his game demolished Kelbrook not only demolished him finished him off after Golovkin set about him he finished Kelbrook off never been the same fighter again what they're trying to do with Kelbrook now is, is like trying to get the last bit of beer out of a barrel. You know when you can't get it out and you've got to cut top of the barrel off. That's what they're getting with Kelbrook now. He's, all the rest, last bits of him are spilling out at barrel. So Errol Spence, he's one of the six. The other one is Terence Crawford. Now. Terence Crawford is the real deal, isn't it? No ifs or buts, he's, he's the real deal, Terence Crawford. He's got all the skills in the world. Look what he did to uh, Amir Khan. Destroyed him, didn't he, Amir Khan? So Terence Crawford, he's one of the six. Alexander Usek. Alexander Usek, WBSS tournament winner. Look at this here. Oh my god. What are you doing, mate? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, mate, see you later. Taxi driver having a go at me. Hey, what can you do? You'd have thought you'd let me in there, wouldn't you? Hey, such a nice gentleman. Uh, Terence Crawford. Pe Errol Spence. Alexander Usek, WBSS tournament winner. Uh, not only beat, but not only won that tournament, won it convincingly as well, didn't he, Usyk? So he has to be given credit. Now he's fighting at heavyweight, it remains to be seen if he can do it. Chisora's the acid test for him. But, this is where I'm coming from here. 
Usex, a heavyweight gold medalist at the Olympics. Heavyweight. Not super heavyweight like Joshua. Heavyweight. Alright. The big heavyweights today are super heavyweights, aren't they? Can Usek put that poundage on? Povetkin couldn't do it, could he? And he was a gold medal at heavyweight. Not super heavyweight. People get keep pe people keep getting confused with this Olympic gold medalist at heavyweight. There's heavyweight, there's light heavyweight, 178 pound. That's Andre Ward, light heavyweight gold medal. Then there's heavyweight, then there's super heavyweight. Povetkin couldn't do the business when he got in with Vladimir, who was a gold medal super heavyweight. Alright. But... In fact, Vladimir might have been heavyweight. No, I think he was super heavyweight. You'd have to check that out. I think he was super heavyweight. Yeah, I think he was super. I think he stepped up. But Usek's going to be fighting, if he wants to go all the way at heavyweight, you've got big guys, haven't you, like Joshua and Tyson Fury to deal with. So, it remains to be seen if he can do it, but as regards what he's accomplished so far, he's in my pound for pound top six. So we've got Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, Alexander Usek, the first three. And those three there so far, not even got so much as a defeat or a draw on the record. They've got to be in there. I know the Josh Taylor fans are going to go, Bucky, you didn't put Josh Taylor in. You can't put him in. Oh, Bucky, Josh Taylor. Oh, I'm a massive Josh Taylor fan. But I think Josh Taylor, I think he needs one more win. One or two more wins just to be that pound for pound. He's not got an Olympic gold medal, has he? And I thought that tournament, we're all right, but a bit weak. It could have been a lot stronger that tournament, but who knows? It's, it's opinions, isn't it? Josh Taylor's not in my top six. He's not even in my top ten. He could make the top 15 pound for pound, though. But he's not in it. So we've got Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, Alexander Ustek, Tyson Fury. Got to put him in there. You cannot have a pound for pound top six without Tyson Fury in there. He's just iced Wilder. He's done Vladimir, hasn't he? Schooled him. Done Wilder. And he flogged Steve Cunningham. So he's got three good wins there. Done Chisora twice, and he's fighting Ulsek next. Tyson done him twice already years ago. Did him when he was a baby. So, you know, it, credit has to be given to him. So, he's been in Wilderness and he's back now, so we have to give him credit. So, I'm not going to say who's the best, because a lot of people are going to say he's the best, aren't they? But each one of these guys, can, the case can be made for him to being the best, in my opinion. So Tyson Fury's one of the six. The other two are... Canelo, he's one of them. Saul Alvarez, a.k.a. Canelo, the ginger Mexican. He's only been beat by Floyd Mayweather. Everybody else who he's fought, he's beat, and he's got a couple of draws in his record, or one draw. Look, at the end of the day, right, the guy is world class, isn't he? He's just knocked out Kovalev. What can you... He's knocked out Kovalev, who's, you know, one of the biggest punchers to ever come out of Russia. So, credit has to be given to Saul Alvarez. Credit's got to be given to him, I'm afraid. So, the other one is Lomachenko. Now, Alvarez has got a defeat on his record. Lomachenko's got a defeat on his record, but Alvarez is to Mayweather. And Lomachenko's. We're in his second fight for a world title, wasn't it? Second fight. So, we have to give Lomachenko credit, don't we? So, that's my 
6, Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, Alexander Usek, Tyson Fury, Canelo, Alomachenko. I'm not saying somebody's the best, I'm not saying somebody's the worst. I'll leave that to you, the fans, to choose from, alright? You, you decide in the debate on the comment section, you decide. Don't forget to do as Peter Fury said, subscribe to Porky's Corner. Leave a comment and leave a like, because we love them likes. Alright, so, peace out. And fucking, keep supporting boxing, keep supporting Porky's Corner, keep them comments coming. There is 4,112 comments, we're all withheld for review. So, the Porky followers are devoted. <laughs> Let me just point out, if you swear in a comment to me or mention certain words, I don't get to see it, it goes for review. And every now and then we see how high it is and we delete it, so keep them coming. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.